One of the greatest players in Norfolk State history stepped onto the court at Joe Eccles Hall one final time tonight. Joe Bryant Jr. won a state title at Lake Taylor, and he's been the beating heart of back-to-back MEAC tournament title teams. Bryant, Chris Bankston, Dana Tate, and three other seniors were looking for one final win on their home court tonight. I'm Nathan Epstein. Welcome to a MEAC Monday edition of the Sports Wrap. And it's hard to argue that group of seniors you just saw isn't the most decorated in school history. Back-to-back MEAC tournament champions, the first to ever do that. The first in school history ever to win MEAC regular season and tournament title in the same year. And the first to play in back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments. Spartans looking for one last home win and also looking to stay in the hunt for a second straight MEAC regular season crown. NSU taking on Coffin State. Spartans riding a six-game win streak. Got the scoring started with who else? One of those seniors, Dana Tate. Give him all three of those. Tate tied to team high with 11 points, six rebounds. Still early in the first half. Ball tipped out, and look at Kahim Brown track down the loose change all the way for the tough layup. Brown with 11 points, five assists. But this is something nobody wanted to see. Joe Bryant slipped a little awkwardly, went to the locker room for a few minutes, looked like he was having trouble with his left ankle, so NSU had to play on without their point guard and best player. A little later off the inbound, Chris Bankston normally dunks that, gets the easy bucket for two of his nine points, also had six rebounds. Norfolk State led by as many as 14, but with Bryant on the bench, Coppin State makes a run. Nende Tarke led all scores with 19 points, shot eight of 12 from the field, two of three from three. Bryant sat all of the first half, played some late, and scored 10 points, but NSU's six-game win streak comes to an end, a gut punch of a loss to the last place team in the MEAC. 69 to 62 the final, but they'll have three games left all on the road starting with South Carolina State on Saturday.